In this video, we're going to use triple integration in uh, cylindrical form to work out the volume of this cone. So uh, the first thing is to come up with the equation for this surface, for the surface of this cone, which is given by this, and try and understand why it's given by this. So, um, so in, in cylindrical form, you can think of this as being your radius. You can think of this as being your, your radius r. So uh, let's just imagine the cone, the, the z elevation is at 3. So here, the base of the cone will have a radius of 1. Because uh, down here, x squared plus y squared square root will be 1. So here, uh, when, when the radius is 1, then you can see 4 take away 1 will give you an elevation or the height of 3. So if you, uh, if you look at, at a height of 2, so here, the radius... Hang on here, the radius would be would be two. The radius r here would be two. So so looking project this down to the xy plane, this will have a circle of radius two. So when r is two, you can see when r is two, you can see four take away two will give you an elevation of two. And so on. So the uh, the surface of this cone is given by by this. Okay, so now let's try and set up our, our triple integral. So, um, triple integral, we've seen why, uh, as to why this is the case. So I'm expecting you to understand this step. So looking at the inner integral, uh, moving in the z direction, so you're moving in the z direction like this, you hit the bottom when, when z equals zero, and then you leave at the surface. You leave at the surface. Here you enter at z equals zero, and then you leave you leave the surface somewhere up here. So here you enter z equals zero, and then you leave the surface. You enter you enter z equals zero, and then you leave the surface. Well, the surface is given by this. So we could well, we could put the surface in here. So that would then give us. 4 minus, and don't forget this whole thing here in, in cylindrical form, it would be uh, r. Okay, so, so this, this thing here is r. And then uh, looking at it in terms of the radius, well, you're integrating, uh, let me clean this up. In terms of the radius, you're integrating from a radius of 0 to a radius of 4. You, end, you, uh, you, you, you integrate it r equals 0 to a radius of 4. So you're doing this all the way around here. So you enter r equals 0 and you leave at r equals 4. And then in terms of the angle, you're integrating from an angle of 0 all the way to an angle of 2 pi. So this would be from 0 to 2 pi. So the volume of this cone is given by this whole thing here. So we are currently, we are currently here. So now, now the rest is just, um, it's just a matter of you integrating this. So looking at the inner integral, don't forget you, you got an r here, and you want to integrate it with respect to z. So when you integrate r with respect to z, it will then give you this: from zero to four minus r, from zero to four minus r, and then, uh, and then you would put this into the z and then take away put this into the z that will then give you this uh, multiply this out that will then give you this and then now integrate it with respect to r so integrate this with respect to r so integrate this integrate this from 0 to 4 from 0 to 4 so uh, so that will then take us to that will then take us to here, and then merge these two together. It will then give you this. Now integrate it with respect to theta, with respect to, with respect to theta. So integrating this with respect to theta, that will then give you this from zero to two pi. So now put two pi into here. It will give you a volume of this, and then you can use high school maths to confirm this. Remember high school maths? Um, it would the uh, the volume of a cone is given by pi r squared and then divided by 3. Well, 
the volume is given by this, okay?